Welcome Sagittarius to your July bonus love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into your reading, see what is coming through. Um, first, we're going to start off with the AF Tarot deck and then the Soul cards and then I'll use the Lucid Dreams Beginner Tarot to clarify. And at the end of the reading, I will pull the Love Oracles to see what this person has to say. So your cards have already been shuffled. Let me just shuffle this one one more time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's see what is coming through. What is coming through? Five of Swords. Ooh. It's like someone wants to win at all costs here. There could be some resentment that someone is holding in. They seem a bit upset. Um, mental conflict. Five of Swords. Somebody's in their head here. Manipulation type of energy. Yeah, because they feel that you're the missed opportunity. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay, you possibly went cold on this energy because they came, they're coming up as the emperor in reverse. They are desiring for some type of control within this connection. You are seeing very clear, you're super intelligent, you have a lot of wisdom when it comes to energies like this, okay? This person is clearly operating from ego and they're, um, ooh, ah. they are not, you know, the emperor in reverse is basically all the bad words. And you're seeing right through this. I feel like you are protecting yourself. For some of you guys are going no contact, maybe block this person or just not speaking to them at this time. Bottom of the deck, yeah, this is surrender, a pause, feeling unloved by an energy. This person could be a bit codependent here. Um, but there is an energy of taking your power back. You have all the tools and knowledge within this situation, okay? So this is you listening to the uh, synchronicities. This is you knowing um, a lot about this energy, okay? And their actions. You guys could have studied this, <laughs> looked this up, whatever this character is right here, and just like, whoa, they have all of the you know, symptoms or whatever, the diagnosis. But either way, this person, I feel like you're being cold to them. Five of Swords, yeah, they're not able to manipulate you, okay? You already, you could play that game if you want back, okay? Because you're seeing right through it. They are having a tower moment, and there we are with the Emperor in reverse once again in the challenge. The Five of Swords, I feel you are just done. You're just, you know what? I already know what, what this person's about. Feeling a bit like just realizing there's no winners. I'm not going to play this game with you. Like you could win if you wanted to, okay? But I don't feel like you're going to go in that direction. You're coming up very intelligent, okay? You could play in reverse, <laughs> um, turn the tables on this person very easily, but I don't feel like you're doing that. You do have all the power, okay, to do that with the magician. <laughs> But I feel like you're going more in the honest route, the, the route where you're just like seeing things for what they are. You're having a mental breakthrough. Um, this person is coming out as a tower moment. They are angry, 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 and they are facing the tower. This could be like a walking tower, okay? Um, you guys could have been together for a while or things just started. You know, you could have, maybe things were a bit um, like starting off here, but things are now slowing down. This person is feeling that energy, but you're more stability, grounding yourself, okay? This person, I don't feel like they're taking any accountability. They're looking at you as the empress, male or female. female. This is more of an energy um, of knowing your worth. They know you're the goddess. They can't be that emperor. The emperor is more disciplined, loving, and caring, and responsible, and like CEO type of situation. This is the match for the empress. This person tried to fake being the emperor, but really they're the emperor in reverse. They're cruel, ruthless. Ace of Cups, what you don't see coming, and the Three of Wands. I do feel like this person is coming in. I do. This person could be juggling here um, or feeling confused and conflicted in the mind. 
Yeah, because of possibly no contact, maybe you're avoiding them, and now they have their guard up and they're angry. They're feeling regret and like they have to look at themselves in the mirror. Hmm. Yeah, blocked energy. Well, I feel like you felt left out in the cold at one too. You felt abandoned and unloved by this energy. So like, what do they expect you to stay? Especially now they're coming in like this. Yeah, you are going to be a missed opportunity. You showed a lot of love and nurturing and caring here. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't need anyone, okay? They don't, especially the Empress. Is, her match is the Emperor. The Empress already showed the unconditional love. They got your love. But now I feel like now that you're shutting down, they're wanting to come in. Like you're just shutting off to this connection. Nine of Swords. Wow. Someone is in their head having anxiety, sleepless nights. Let's see what this tower, this tower is huge. This brings a lot of change and chaos. Like something like needs to crash down here. Um, someone could have caused a lot, a lot of problems within your situation. We do have that. Yeah. See the reason. Ugh. They are looking at you as a missed opportunity. They are so, they're feeling so unfulfilled that they can't get to you or they can't control you or they can't seem to get through to this king of swords energy you're too smart for them you're outsmarted them here the death is more stating is that this person is resisting change so there must be the emperor this whole entire time maybe they came off acting like the emperor upright but in reality they're resisting change they're it's like an inability to change they're stuck and repeating negative patterns and that's why i feel you're just like defeated here i mean realizing that there's no winners like i mentioned in the beginning someone could be um yeah i feel like your illusions are ending or you're not being distracted by this energy anymore or trying not to be the five of swords is in your energy okay yeah you're good all right, so not holding any resentment in, okay, because for forgiving, I know a lot of people say like, oh, don't forgive, but forgiveness, you don't have to tell them that you forgave them. It's about releasing the hate because hate and pain is still linked to an energy, okay? So forgiveness is to more of like, what's that word? Um, unlink yourself from this energy um, so you could move on fully. Okay, it's more for you like your heart and clearing out like your heart chakra, you know, all of that. But I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, you really don't need anybody anyways. You already know who you are. You're very abundant. You're loving. You're self-efficient. You know your self-worth. You're coming up as the goddess in their eyes. Okay, even though they probably won't admit that. But what I feel here is that you're just dealing with a really, really like bad energy here. Yeah, they. I feel like some of you may have like been so consumed at one point where they like you, st you started seeing your work maybe fall apart or you started seeing like a lack of focus within yourself and no motivation anymore just feeling like out of it um a lot of you guys could be very cold to this energy so you could focus on your pentacles and your life and your family they were just consuming you so much because they were like wanting to control the situation this could be your husband since we have the emperor and empress, marriage or engagement. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying. They want to offer you something now that they're hitting the rock bottom. Now they want balance. Oh, but they're, they're coming in as resistance. What is this knight of pentacles? Yeah, justice self-doubt there could be a lot of self-doubt yeah inner turmoil low self-esteem vulnerability feeling okay so this person is feeling weak right now and i feel like this is where the the feeling of this person coming in and saying i want to change or however because there are offering an opportunity are wanting to start a new beginning with you and like promises it's like they want to rebuild something with you. Yeah. They want to recover this connection. Are they hoping to?
I don't think you trust them. They're still resisting change in their actions though. They might, you might be seeing that there may be problems ahead again, feeling like chaos. Okay, a lot of delays, frustration. I don't feel like you're wanting to put yourself in this situation because of all the pain that they cause. But for a lot of you guys are kind of feeling an indecision about this. You know what? I'm going to pull the goddess of oracles at the end to see what we can get for you guys. Yeah, this person is coming in as the king of cups. They're wanting to close out a cycle with you and start a new beginning. They, th th This energy is, is very much coming in very emotional and they're wanting to offer you love a lot of people a, a lot of you guys could be starting something new and closing out this chapter oh but yeah someone just wants to come clean they can't let you go in the outcome they want to move forward they don't want but i don't feel i don't know if they're not working or they lost their job i don't know what's going on here but they're like really desperate They want to make amends for the wrongdoing. They want to confess. They're feeling regretful for being careless and acting like a fool. Okay. But they're like, they make poor judgment. They're hard to trust. They have no luck, lack of, they have really no direction. I feel like this person is just really wanting to come in, but still not, but still a fear of them not changing. Or maybe this is what you've already dealt with. You know what let's i need to grab a card for you guys sag what is going on since you're coming up as a goddess we're going to hit the goddess of oracle deck okay let's see what do we have for you oh we have protection you know what let's go ahead and read that and right after this well i'll read that to you right now but let's see what they have to say and then for the ones who want to stay and read um, this is called the strength of character. Sorry. It says life experience is your most valuable asset. And then we have protection on the bottom of the deck here. So I was going to read these two in the end, but let's go ahead and see what this person has to say. And then we'll go and read those cards. I dive in and out of relationships. Fight arguments, conflicts. That's what they bring. There was someone interfering in our relationship. This could have been a cheating situation or someone wanting just to admit it or I don't know. Please forgive me. I will find my way back to you one day. All right. Very interesting. This person is could have been juggling, but Let's see what you what we can get for you, okay? They're, they are wanting your forgiveness. I feel very desperate energy in the outcome here. But let's see. What is the strength, uh, strength of character? Ooh, I love this card. I am so happy it came out for you because this is exactly, I feel, what you need to hear. I do, okay? It says, this life may pick you up, throw you down, and then send you soaring. It will test you in ways you could have never dreamt and bring you everything you've ever asked for and wanted. What did you learn in the face of adversity when faced with unspeakable situations you had never imagined would cross your path? Question mark. This is the truest testament to what your soul is capable of surviving, becoming, and evolving. Oh, I'm getting chills for you. I see that you work hard with extreme passion to then fail. I see you continue onward, struggling to achieve. I see that you still persist and do not lose faith as you fall behind and drown in the depths from the pressures of waters that are submerging you. You ask me why you must endure all these complications. And I will tell you that these experiences are what makes up your entire existence. Your experiences are what shape you. Your experiences are your stories. Your experiences is your soul-led journey. I ask that you do not shame these experiences. Rather, reflect upon them, for the lesson is the achievement. You guys are spiritual teachers. You could help so many people. Don't let anybody ever tell you, you know, anything, okay? Because you obviously, Spirit is saying you have gone through some stuff, like deep, traumatic things in your life and they want to know that you are strong okay and that you are uh, and you are protected you are protected let's see let's get protection 
I ask that you make an effort to release your fear. I am giving you this message because the intensity of your emotion you are experiencing is not necessary. Your soul is calling you to gently unclench your tight grip, close your eyes and take a moment to relax into these feelings and not let them hold such power over your actions and decisions. Discard the crippling doubts and leave behind the immense pressure you are putting on yourself. All is well and moving in the right direction. You must allow yourself to have some calm amongst any chaos. I am here to support you. You guys, my heart is for you, okay? Whatever you're going through, I mean, I have little tears in my eyes because this is, you know, I, I knew I had to pull this for you. I knew it because this reading is super intense. I mean, you've got the emperor twice in like in the challenge and reverse, and it just looks like you're just such a beautiful energy, you know? And you were just, there's just a lot of things I feel that has happened, and you're just... You're, you're 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 strong you're resilient you're a beautiful human being okay when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love let's go ahead and pull another one for you guys manifesting miracles your dream your dream sorry your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance because you are very wise. Okay, you are very wise. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helped. I hope it brought clarity, some closure, whatever you needed at this time. I hope it helped you. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.